With us now is local community activist Frank Reynolds with a terrifying statistic. Frank? Yes. Thank you, Chet. You're welcome. Do you know that 90% of your water is 100% toxins? Who knows what the other 10% is? It's probably far worse, it's I would It's really imagine. worse. I have a water filter for you that you need to put in every single home. It will protect you and your entire family. You could even give that water to your babies. Wow. Well, babies, look out, because this next segment is just for you. Don't turn that channel. Your life may depend upon it. Um, so this is a water filter that I just installed that I'm really excited to show to you guys because it's toucan safe. And no, that's not what it says on the marketing or packaging. It's just what I say because it's a reverse osmosis water filter. And as most of you guys know, hey, Maeve, why don't you come down here so a toucan can actually be in the video? Come here. Look, you want to play in the water? Anyways, um, as most of you guys know, toucans are prone to a disease called hemochromatosis or hemocinerosis, which is basically an iron storage deficiency. In captivity, they're a little more, well, not that they're more sensitive to iron, but the iron in foods and water and stuff like that um, compared to, what are you doing over there? We'll let that fill up. We'll come over here and we'll... We'll see what Maeve's doing. We'll say hi to Tupac. Hey Tupac, what's up? But, um, anyways, when toucans first started coming around in captivity in around the 70s and 80s, they were uh, being fed things like monkey chow and mina food and dog food and things like that in place of what we now feed, which is made for soft bills and other and animals like toucans that are sensitive to iron, uh, many of them were dying within three to four years of their life because of basically too much iron in their diet. They weren't able to process it, things like that. Um, there's a lot of speculation on why that is, why there's... What did you find up there? Okay, that doesn't look like something you need to have. Um, <clears throat> so basically... Their diet now is basically stripped of most iron. Now, you do need some iron to be healthy, of course, but with water, it's a big issue because a lot of water has hard minerals and things in it, which is why most toucan owners, like myself, will buy something like this that's uh, either distilled or drinking water. It doesn't really matter as long as it's put through reverse osmosis filtration. Um, this can get expensive, though, and obviously it's a huge waste of plastics because you have to buy a gallon jug like this every time. So, for a while, I've been wanting to get this. So this is like a, it's just a filtration system. It's a, it's a big giant thing, but uh, I installed it under my sink. Um, luckily, I had some experience with water thanks to uh, water cooling in my PC and stuff like that, so I was able to kind of figure out how to make it work. Um, with the instructions and tutorials on YouTube, I probably wouldn't recommend doing that if you want to get one yourself. You probably need a plumber or something, but I got it working good. And that's the important thing. Um, I think it makes up to like 20, 30 gallons a day, which of course is more than what we would ever need. But it's perfect for baths like this or for their drinking water, which I have in other parts of the house. Uh, this is Maeve's, Maeve's bathtub. Um, so I have it basically... I'm able to completely fill it with safe water for much cheaper than what I normally would be able to. And I cannot move this with one hand. <laughs> so give me a second. Hold on. Okay. So we'll take a closer look at this. And by the way, this is not, this would not be possible for us to get without uh, the help from our patrons. Like I, I'm mainly doing this as a thank you to them because these systems can be pretty expensive. They're like starting at like four or five hundred dollars. So it was kind of a pipe dream for me to be able to get one in the past because they're just so expensive and I've been buying these jugs like I was showing earlier normally and it's just it's such a pain in the butt because like I said it's just a, it's such a waste and then I have to go back and forth to the store all the time to get new water and now that we have two birds here it can get even more expensive. So we have this 
filter in now. It just kind of like attaches to where like the soap dispenser would normally go. I might have to like drill a new hole and put the other soap disp dispenser back in, but you just like flip that. We don't want to waste too much water. I know how you guys hate it when I waste water, so. But um, I can take like this, for instance, these jugs and store them for easy because it's not the fastest fastest uh, filling mechanism so if we just go ahead and fill one of these bad boys up then it's ready to rock and roll whenever we need water and uh, for some reason I think Mave is kind of afraid of it yeah <laughs> we might be uh, Tupac's probably gonna be afraid of it too it's a very rainy day out today though so it's been making them a little bit more nervous than usual but anyways, um, stuff like this is what Patreon's for, for getting things for the birds. And you know, it benefits me as well, because I have this delicious water that is definitely going... I'm a little bit... I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to admit, I'm a little bit addicted to uh, drinking Coca-Cola too much. <laughs> so this is a, mo a little bit... It's more motivating to me to uh, drink water now because of this, so... Okay, sorry about that. Maeve kind of dive-bombed the camera and knocked it out of my hand. So, uh, you know, we got to kind of start over a little bit. But uh, anyways, as I was saying, it's it's good for me as well because I got this plenty of drinking water for both me and the birds. It's perfect. It's great. It tastes great. And I'm sure somebody in the comments will hopefully nobody in the comments are going to pop up and say why it's a bad idea. I've done a lot of research on it. I think that it's completely uh, as effective as other reverse osmosis filters like that would be commercially available. So I don't see any reason why it would be bad, but you can definitely taste the difference. Like it's noticeably just, it, it just tastes cleaner. I don't know how else to explain it. I'm sure if you, you can kind of understand what I'm saying. Like if you get a bottle of water that's uh, particularly good, it just, it, it just tastes I don't know. It tastes better. To me, water usually doesn't taste like much of anything, but you can really taste when it when it tastes clean and fresh and things like that. So I'm happy to have it for the birds, especially. And uh, we're so grateful to you guys for supporting us because, you know, we wouldn't be able to do stuff like this without you. And it just means so much. And hopefully now that it's kind of getting to where winter and stuff is, and uh, it's getting a little colder outside, more cloudy, more rainy. Um, next, I kind of want to get some uh, some bulbs that are or some light fixtures. These light fixtures are pretty expensive as well. They're like last I checked for the fixture, it's like a few hundred dollars. But basically, you can put these bulbs in, and they use them at zoos and things like that, and for uh, growing plants and. Um, they contain UVA and UVB rays, and basically they act as a miniature sun. So I want them to be able to continue to bask even when the sun is not out. Like, I'm not going to be taking them outside while it's cold and wet and rainy for the next few months up until, you know, next spring or so. And usually it does stay pretty warm here, but um, for the most part, you know, you don't want to risk too much, too much uh, draft or anything like that when it comes to birds and um, it would be safer to just have them be able to bask indoors because it's very important for toucans to have that uh, ultraviolet light and stuff and you can really tell a difference in their coloration and stuff when they get it it kind of like tans their beak and tans their skin around their eyes and things like that and it's just overall healthier for them and they love to sunbathe um, I've had videos of them doing that before but they do, they do a peculiar thing where they actually like flay out and spread all their feathers out and things like that and just bathe in the sun. So they really enjoy it. And I want to be able to set up some area like that for them here where they'll be able to do it in the safety of the house when the sun is not out like it would normally be in a rainforest where they're from. So are you appreciative of that water, Maeve? I know you like to splash it all over the ground. That's not a very good way to give gratitude, is it? <laughs> they love to take baths, so... 
Like a lot of times you'll, you'll see me just let them play in the water directly from the sink. And if they're just playing in it, that's fine. You know, it doesn't really matter if it's um, distilled or not because they're not consuming it. But in this case, you know, we can just straight up use the, use the uh, distilled water completely with no worry of whether they're not they're going to consume it or not because usually you have to watch them just to make sure if they're playing in the sink so what you got there got a little toy but anyways uh this video is probably unnecessarily long so i appreciate you guys bearing with me it's been a exhausting couple of days but we'll be getting videos out shortly and hopefully have some more surprises for you in the future um I was going to do a, another, uh, don't, don't eat that, weirdo, another Goose, Untitled Goose game. Um, if you guys want me to go ahead and do another one, let me know. I wasn't entirely sure because, I mean, the video did pretty well, considering, better than I thought. So, let me know if you guys want to see part two, and I should be able to do that this week. And then, I'm working on some way to do live streams. I'm not sure exactly how to do it because the camera needs to be more dynamic like it is now, like where I can move it around because Maeve moves so much. So, but anyways, thanks so much guys for watching. If you're interested in checking out our patron, there'll be a link, our Patreon, there'll be a link down in the description. Uh, if you'd like to contribute to the channel, help keep us going, help keep us get, or keep us, uh, being able to, what is the word I'm looking for? Keep us able to continue to buy weird toucan stuff that improves their quality of life and mine too. Uh, check it out in the description. And then the merch is going to be changed pretty soon. So if you want to buy a tank top or anything like that that's more summer oriented, now is your last chance. And I'm going to be changing it up to sweaters and hoodies in like probably a week. So check that out and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now. Guys, look what we have. Toucan merch. And it's Maeve approved. You guys have been asking for this forever. So we finally went ahead and did it. And we have new styles coming out soon for the winter and fall season. With long sleeves and with Maeve. But anyways, make sure to check it out on represent.com slash store slash Toucan TV. Make sure to check us out on Instagram. Link in the description for all that good stuff. And we'll see you on the next video. Oh, hello again.